Hi and welcome to a VFX at home first. I'm Andy Z01Z, uh, you may know me from the forums and it's one of my first tutorials. I thought I'd put this up there because I found it confusing. Others may think it's simple and what's the problem? But uh, I thought rather than other people struggle with it, um, i just explain. I'm going to talk today about uh, containers and how you can float them in the new version of Hit From Pro 14. Uh, what are containers and how can you float them? Well, it's fairly simple. Now you have this option, the little three bars, and that gives you access to a little sub-menu, like so. And here you can see you have float panel, close panel, or open help. And floating a panel brings that panel out into its own separate container. There's a difference here between the language. A panel is like the viewer and the export. A container is what the box it's located in, this area here. So when I click float panel, it goes out into its own container, and this is the panel within the container. It's key to understand that because that's what will confuse me first. Now, once it's in its own container, I can move the container around the screen by clicking on this black bit here. Note you must click on the container to do that at the top otherwise it, you're then clicking on the panel. Okay, so once I've got this I can move this anywhere on my screen. If I've got two screens, or if you're lucky three screens, you can move them to the other screen. Look, it's gone, it's back again, that's because I'm not recording uh, my second screen. Uh, the second thing you can do is once you've got it like this, if you say, ah, oh, I actually want the panel to be moved, then you click on the panel itself and then that only allows you to move to certain locations, i.e. within other containers. Um, it won't let me move this off the screen because uh, you get the little no can't do that symbol because there isn't a container on my second screen. If there was, it probably would let me put it into that container. So let's put it back where it came from. If you look up here, when I put it next to the viewer panel, it lets me pop populate it back in there. And you can do that with all of them you can move them. So the key difference here is if you want to move one of these panels, say like the effects one, let's float that out and there it is. Once it's floated out you can then move that around using the top as a container but if I want to move the effects and have that um, somewhere else I have to click on the effects panel and then move that. Then I can move that there, like, and like I can put it right up the top on the main panel and now the effects is listed up there in its own separate container. And that's it. Simple. Just do those, follow those steps, and that's how panels and containers work. Have fun. This is VFX at Home. Finishing the first tutorial. Bye.